Right. So when it comes to well-known members of the Labour Party, we tend to think in terms of MPs. Though, of course, well-known can be a bit of a stretch even for them when it comes to a large proportion of the British public. But for those of us who pay a little bit more attention, perhaps an unhealthy amount of attention to the Labour Party, particularly those of us who came from a Corbyn supporting section of said party, we soon got to know the most vicious and vociferous voices against a transformative government of change, cheerleading the call to return to red Toryism and having no problem whatsoever in propagating the anti-Semitism lie even. The claim that it was all Corbyn's fault, despite it being a societal ill, focus placed on it being in the Labour Party, despite its existence elsewhere as well, all helpfully enabled by mainstream media, utterly wedded to establishment interests and not ours, in order to help that agenda along. And one such individual who became synonymous with this push was then former, now sadly again current, Labour NEC member Luke Akehurst, a guy who, despite repeatedly failing to get back on the NEC under Corbyn, mysteriously came top of the polls all of a sudden under Starmer, made all the more mysterious when even his own local constituency party in Oxford apparently wouldn't back him for the job. You can't help but wonder whether Starmer in his Zionist without qualification attitude helped things along for Akehurst in some way, or those with an agenda along those lines thereof did. Obviously, this is just my own musings on the subject, but given Akehurst is director of Israel Promotion Body We Believe in Israel, which is funded by BICOM, the British Israel Communications and Research Centre, which is itself funded rather opaquely via private donations and has strong links to the Israeli state, which, given its treatment of Palestinians, is an apartheid state. Akehurst is not Jewish, but he is a Zionist, and he has been a key player in the attacks on the Labour Party under Corbyn over anti-Semitism. He works to promote Israeli interests and he sits at Labour's top table once again now. But a piece of video footage came out and rapidly spread around social media yesterday of Akers making what some are calling inappropriate and others have referred to as anti-Semitic, misogynistic and even white supremacist in its nature. This is what he said. See what you think. Jackie has mixed antecedents, so Jewish on one side and Caribbean on the other side, and I can only interpret her remarks as playing out an inner conflict where she kind of feels very uncomfortable about the two parts of her heritage rather than celebrating both of them. This is in reference to Jackie Walker, a black Jewish woman, left-wing activist, writer and presenter on Redline TV, as well as making weekly appearances on Sunday mornings on the Not The Andrew Marr Show doing the news review, which... I've had the privilege of doing with her a couple of times myself. The lady is an absolute diamond, and Akers is talking out of his proverbials in, by the Labour rights own factional standards, in my view, in what is frankly racist. Jackie herself has responded to this, so let's start with that. She answered his tweet with, Luke Akers, at least try and get my heritage right. I have a Russian Jewish father and a mother of Jewish ancestry. As you know, I'm married to a Jewish man. Our politics and understanding of Zionism as being a deeply racist and barbaric ideology is totally shared. You know this, you know him. Does Graham Bash have an inner conflict about his identity? If not, what the F are you suggesting about people of mixed heritage? Jackie's husband, Graham Bash, happens to be white. But she said the Z word. That elicited a response from the man who is, in effect, paid to defend it. Akers came back with, I'm very sorry for you if you cannot see Zionism as a beautiful ideology of anti-racism and the national liberation and culture flourishing of the Jewish people. I have no idea why you or anyone else harbors such intense negativity towards such a profoundly decent movement. That is enough to make you want to spew. No mention of what that ideology is doing to Palestinians, such as the segregation, the abuse, the land theft, the homes being forcibly demolished, the kids getting shot. Akers calls that beautiful, apparently. I remind you, this is a guy who has overwhelmingly too much clout at the very top of the Labour Party. Jackie came back on this, though. Your obsessive interference in the decades-long internal dispute between Jews on the matter of Zionism and your fascination in weapons of destruction is, I presume, based on some kind of dissatisfaction with the self, most likely a response to having experienced repeated childhood bullying, perhaps of being beaten by those in authority, or a sense of being unloved. Whatever the cause, it remains inexcusable to allow this emotional damage to be acted out in the public forum. Now, that's certainly a provocative statement. You can't blame her, given the insults she's been on the receiving end of. For reference, Akers is also extremely pro-nuclear weapons, hence his nickname, Luke the Nuke. Um, now, throughout this discourse, you 
have to appreciate that Acre shares neither ethnicity or culture with Walker or religion or with Judaism on the whole. Or is so is opining on such matters can only come across as extremely unwelcome to people with those backgrounds, especially to people who do share ethnicity with Walker, for example. According to Akers, she cannot overcome an inner conflict of her cultural and ethnic backgrounds, despite insulting, not even getting that right, uh, insultingly not even getting that right, as Walker correct him. But equally, this is something that can only be aimed at people who are black and Jewish, since the inner conflict, as Akers put it, could not be something a white Jew, by his own wording, by his own inference and meaning, could possibly have. Therefore, not only is this a distinctly anti-black sentiment, but also anti-Semitic, as by his words, black Jews can have issues that white Jews can't. Also, the claim that Akers feels Walker can't overcome an inner conflict between her two backgrounds is very much in self-hating Jew territory. Others felt that this is something aimed at Walker because she's a woman. And that's why the example of bringing up her husband went unacknowledged by Akers in his response to her. Misogyny, in which case, surely. What we have here is a commentary of a white non-Jewish man against a black Jewish woman that clearly, in my view, is racist, misogynistic. And given the derogatory nature of the comments against Jackie Walker's black heritage, white supremacist in nature as well. Certainly people have been purged from the party one hell of a lot less than this. And this is on film. If Labour has truly dealt with its racism problem and is doing so meaningfully, it will address this situation. Certain as I feel sure this will be reported to the party, given how distressing it will be to some who watch it. If they ignore it, it's just further proof of what we already know, that the issue of anti-Semitism has been weaponized against the left. And Starmer's Labour genuinely do not give us stuff about it. Akers exemplifies everything that is wrong with a right-wing-led Labour Party. Then in government, we'll see men like Akers with even more influence than they've got now. Surely to God we deserve better than a governing party that welcomes and elevates people like this, especially when so many of us who are vehemently opposed to such disgusting narratives have been made to feel significantly unwelcome by that same party in turn. Does that surely not make for a more racist party and not a less racist one. What do you think of Akers' comments? How do you interpret what he said? Do you agree with him or disagree with him and why? And what of Jackie Walker? She's been vilified by far more people than just Akers over the years. Clearly she pushes buttons. Is she entirely right to do so though in her defense of her ethnicity and her cultural background? Check out Redline TV and not the Andrew Marshall as well to see more of her in action if you're not particularly familiar with what she does and says now. Do have your say in the comments below as well and be part of the conversation on this. Is it time Labour told Akehurst to sling his hook and how can they justify not doing so after all of this? Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you did more content out daily. Meanwhile, here's a video recommendation. We're back in January. Starmer's Labour actually expelled a living Holocaust survivor, purging Jewish people. Not exactly news, of course, but this story was particularly rancid. And in light of Akers being in a position to purge such people himself, being on the NEC, yet not be purged and likely will go completely unpunished over his conduct here. Well, if you think Labour isn't more racist than it ever was previously, and of course there's no denying that, then I have a bridge to sell you. I'll hopefully see you on the next bid, though. Cheers, folks.